test I know I'm in a mess And my dog ate all my homework last night Riding low on my chair She won't know that I'm there If I can hand it in tomorrow It'll be alright It's alright Cause I'm saved by the bell It's alright Cause I'm saved by the bell and welcome back to another episode of CHS TV. I'm Haley. And I'm Anna. Man, feels like forever since we've been here. I know, right? Time flies when you're not doing shows. Anyway, let's move on to the principal's message. Hello, Pirates. This week, I'm filming my message from my office on a Saturday after watching the Pirate baseball team win an incredibly exciting game against West Efford. The Pirates will continue their playoff run next week against Cedar Creek. At the same time, our CHS track team has been competing in their sectional competition. At the time I am filming this message, the following athletes have qualified for state competition. Tyler Schill and Alex Boyko in the 3200 meter, Derek Cosiano in the 800, Malachi Etienne in discus, and Derek Robinson in the high jump. Malachi is also the sectional champion in the discus. Congratulations, Malachi. For girls, Cozit Quinn has qualified in the 100 meter, and Steph Renouf will compete in the 3200. For those that will still, for those of you that are still competing at this time, I wish you luck, and I am incredibly proud of all of our athletes. The state competition will take place this coming weekend, and I have no doubt that each of you will rep represent CHS admirably. I would also like to recognize our students of the month for May. Every month, a member from each class is selected to represent Cinemas in High School as a student of the month. Students who are nominated have distinguished themselves as outstanding members of Cinemas in High School. They are recommended by the staff for this award, to award and maintain exemplary discipline records for this academic school year. For the seniors, Nicholas DeLeo. For the juniors, Santino Leone. For the 10th graders, James Smith. And for the freshmen, Anella Asbury. These students of the month are to be congratulated for their contributions to Cinemas in High School. Our students of the month should report to the library at this time to collect their awards and have their picture taken. Before I close for this week, I want to thank all of our CHS musicians for an outstanding concert season this year. I have been to many a CHS concert, and I think that this year they were all particularly good. I would also like to thank all of the students who participated in a red and black game and came to our red and black event. It was, I was ecstatic to be able to once again showcase the variety of talent CHS students possess. In particular, take a moment to walk through the art on display in front of the auditorium. It really is something to see. That's all from my message this week. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the show. And now here are the videos of the candidates for president and or vice president in contested positions. Voting will occur during six period smart lunch today via the Google form posted in your grade's Google Classroom. The form will be available until the end of the school day at 2.11 p.m. What's up everybody? To the freshmen and sophomores listening today, if you don't know me, my name is Alex Boyko and I'm running to be your student council president. Juniors, if you don't know me, I'm in pretty deep waters for this election. I promise to all who vote for me that if I'm president, I will reinstate recess for at least 90 minutes every single school day, as well as a Friday pizza party until the school runs out of funding and files for bankruptcy. Just kidding. I wish I could do that, though. What I can do for you, though, is assure you that no matter the challenge we face this coming year, we've already faced the greatest demons behind us. COVID-19, one tragedy after another, the fake retirement of Tom Brady, and we'll be ready to conquer all else together. Student Council will combine minds to make schools function effectively with representation of what the students truly want and in a timely manner. Let's speed things up a little bit. It's certainly been a long, confusing two and a half years inside the high school building and a little extra on Google Meet. And in that time, I've gathered quite the resume to help lead us through our near and always exciting future. Featuring lots of running and team building, my term as class vice president, and a handful of club commitments that we've won some cool stuff in along the way. I've dedicated countless hours of service both in and outside of school, 
and you may remember seeing me at Pomona, potentially blowing a whistle at you for running, while I was lifeguarding my whole summer away. I've got a well-polished GPA, SAT, and transcript to go with it. Of course. But no matter the highlight, the credentials get boring. What we all really care about is how next year can be the most fun, rewarding year yet, with my help and the rest of a very qualified student council. And that we shall do. I know it's heartbreaking to see me go, truly, but I'm running out of time in this video. All jokes aside, I see a great year of learning and unity ahead of CHS with me. So help me represent by voting Alex Boyko for president. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea Von Posniak and I am running to be your school president. This may not be the best edited video, but hopefully what I lack in videography skills, I can make up for with my qualifications. Um, I try to be as well-rounded as I possibly can be, but I think the three things that best describe my role at Cinnamon in High School would be cheerleading, um, pretty much everything in the music department, and getting involved in things. I have run for student council every year to no avail, but despite that failure, I am always pushing and advocating for things on behalf of the student body. I have talked to administrators and attended multiple board meetings over things like bringing outside guests to dances, um, mental health when it comes to excusing absences during COVID. I lead an affinity group, and this past Thursday, we successfully had our first meeting for the Gender Equity Committee, a group that I helped to start and whose goal is basically to make Cinnamonson a better place to be. And what I'm getting at is no matter what you're interested in or what you're involved in, I want to advocate for you to have the best and hopefully the most normal 2022 to 23 school year I can possibly give you. Um, and even if you don't vote me in, I will still be on the front lines whenever there is an issue that you don't like going on in Cinnamonson. So I know that I would be good for this position. I just need you guys to give me a chance to prove it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Drew Paulette, and I'm running for the class of 2024 Vice President. I have previously held this position for two years now, and I'm hoping I can count on your vote for a third. I am a part of multiple sports and activities around CHS, such as mock trial, football, wrestling, lacrosse, homecoming committee, DECA, and much more. Our class entered CHS in the midst of a global pandemic, hybrid learning, quarantines, and just a lack of socialization. Now that our sophomore year is coming to a close, I would like to reflect on what we as a class have accomplished despite the restrictions. In particular, Top Golf, Sophomore Cotillion, Homecoming, and Pep Rally. We as a class have had some pretty successful fundraisers, such as our very successful Milanese fundraiser held in the spring of 2021 and 2022, as well as our Mask fundraiser held in the fall of 2020 and 2021. We also had an outstanding turnout at our Sophomore Cotillion, which said a lot about our class and makes me hopeful for the future. As we enter our junior year, I would like to make this upcoming year an exciting and enjoyable one. And I'm not just saying that for nothing. We have some pretty prominent events coming up. For instance, Homecoming, Pep Rally, Spirit Week in October, and Prom in May. I intend as Class VP that I will plan all future events, including Prom, fundraisers, and all else according to what we as a class want. I aim to work alongside my fellow class officers, our class advisors, and our class as a whole to make these events not only meet, but exceed our class's standards. I want this to be a class where all are heard and all are represented. And as vice president, I intend on making this happen. People will be heard, changes will be made, and we as a class will reach success. Thank you and vote Drew on June 6, 2022. Hello, my name's Cassidy Cooney, and I'm running for vice president class of 2024. I'm doing this because I think that I can give a fresh perspective on how we as a class want our junior year of high school to go. I'm the youngest of three, and I've watched my older brother and older sister, class of 2020 and 2022, navigate their high school career through COVID. Watching them, I learned a lot about what's important to a class and what isn't. I would love the opportunity to represent our class and be the voice that speaks out for all of us so that we can have a great junior year that's filled with fun events that give us memories that we missed out on freshman year. Thank you for watching and vote Cassidy Cooney for your class of 2024 vice president. 
Hello, I'm Bobby Preston, and I am running for a sophomore president for the 2022-2023 school year. As our first year of high school comes to a close, I hope everyone had a great year. I know I did. As you may know, I was class president this year, and I am looking to build on our experiences this year to make next year's homecoming and cotillion night even better. If elected, I will listen to your ideas, work with school administration, and be your voice for the things that are important to us to make our sophomore year all that it can be. But to do that, I need your help. Please vote for me for a sophomore president in our student council election on June 6th. Thank you for your consideration. Hello students, faculty, and members of the Cinemas in High School. It is my honor and privilege to run for president and compete in such a prestigious race. As a student, you want your voice to be heard. And when you elect me as president, your voice will be heard on opinions, subjects, or thoughts that concern yourself and the school. As a person, I believe that the best way to communicate is to talk with each other and figure out a solution. I hope as a future president of the class of 2025, I can make your problems go away by any means necessary. I feel I'm also a great public speaker. Being able to deliver speeches and talk publicly is a very important job of being a leader and president. I have been told I, had, I hold the characteristics of being president because I'm hardworking, very charismatic, and most importantly, I can work on a team with our other great members of the student council. I will put forward my best efforts to make the sophomore year a year to remember. I believe we can all accomplish our goals through each other, and I don't see anyone stopping the class of 2025 with our pirate pride. Go Pirates! And I hope I earn your vote in the next coming election. I am a male. I have brown hair. And I am the extreme. Can you guess who I am? The Cinematon High School ELA department is pleased to announce this year's summer reading selections. Students will have the choice between three different books this year. They include Patron Saints of Nothing by Randy Bay, the suspenseful story of Jay Regreo, whose cousin was murdered in the Philippines. Jay must find out the truth about his cousin's death and risking everything to do so, including traveling back to the Philippines to find answers to his questions. A Long Way Gone, Memoirs of a Boy Soldier by Ishmael Bia a memoir that tells a painful and brutal story of the author and his experiences as a boy soldier in Sierra Leone and being forced to fight in the Civil War despite his attempts to escape. Every Day by David Levithan, the story of a spirit known as A that jumps from person to person every day, trying to avoid getting too attached to each person's life. When A jumps to the body of Justin, the rules change because A meets Rhiannon and everything shifts. Ultimately, the book forces the reader to examine life from the different perspectives whom A inhabits. Your parents should have received a letter from the English department this week explaining all these details, as well as an assignment that will need to be completed prior to the school next year. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Kine in B117 or speak with your English teacher. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Put your hands together for Rock, rock Paper Scissors, scissors the, the Final Round. round. Dun, 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 dun! Who do you think's gonna win, Haley? Honestly, I would be scared for anyone who wins because then they have to. Wait! Don't spoil the surprise. All oh, right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final round of the CHS Rock, Paper, Scissors Tournament. This is what we have all been waiting for. We will be crowning the champion with this here trophy, made by myself, in my dining room. First, let's take a look at how each competitor made it this far. Starting with B. Jenks, he made it past Alvarado, Casey, and a hard-fought win against the Menace Murray. What an inspiration. Next. 
Let's take a look at Mr. Brad Davids Campbell's journey to the finals. He smoked Mario Q. Patrizzi, smoked Chef and Kane, and clinched a bye to make it to the finals. If you have anyone to look up to, kids, he's your guy. We have our reporters on the floor now, finding out what they have to say before the competition. All right, Mr. Campbell, how are you feeling now that you've made it to the finals? Uh, I've never been more nervous. You know, Jenkins is a pro. You know, I followed his career on a rock, paper, scissor worldwide league. The RPW, he's dominated, and I'm just thrilled to, you know, dance in his shadow for a little while. And what did you do differently to prepare for this round? I didn't even shave. I know I'm going to lose. He's Brett Jenkins. Thank you and good luck. B. Jenks, how are you feeling now that you've made it to, into the finals? Uh, pretty confident. As I mentioned uh, the first week, uh, this was fully expected. I'm surprised you guys asked me to be in this tournament. Really not fair. Um, Agreed. But just figured I'm glad to participate and I expected to be here. So, pretty confident. What did you do differently to prepare for this round? Um, well, last night I played some rock, paper, scissors. Uh, against my daughter. Um, she's two, but I figured um, she had very similar uh, capabilities as Mr. Campbell, so I thought it'd be good preparation for today's match. It's a real insult to your daughter. Oh, that's kind of sad. Now, it's time for the main event. Let's check it out. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I knew it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's all tied up, one to one. I can't watch. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Son of a oh bug. my goodness. It's an upset. Shake hands, gentlemen. Shake hands. All right. Get them, uh, get them together. And just like that, Brad's Davids Campbells takes it. What a spectacular win. I know he would be dancing around right now if we didn't tell them that they had to stand still. Let's now go down and see if we can get a word with the competitors. Mr. B. Jenks. How do you feel about losing to Brad's? Um, I, ha I have to be completely honest and upfront here. Um, I threw that one, you know. Uh, I've already uh, won Teacher of the Year this year. Um, and I know this year Mr. Campbell hasn't really uh, won anything. Um, so I figured this would be the proper um, way to do it. I, I do feel better about myself and almost consider this like a charity thing. I'm going to write it off tax. Yet another Brett Jenkins lie, right? You nominate him for teacher of the year, no thank you from the guy. You beat him in rock, paper, scissors, no recognition from the year. Typical Brett Jenkins lie. If you ask him, the shirt's probably not bright, ridiculous yellow. He'd probably tell you the shirt is green. Brett Jenkins lies have to stop. Hashtag 2022. I'm the champion, Brett. <laughs> Great win, Campbell. And ladies and gents, you might think this is over. Oh, there's more when I found. But Brad's David's Campbell's, there's one more obstacle you will have to face. He is known as none other than the lean, mean fighting machine, Mr. H. I want you! I want you, Brad's Campbell! I want you! I'm a champ! You just a paper champ! I beat you like I did last time. Mmm! He's the biggest arms in the world! A lot. A lot. By the way, the Mr. H I was worried about was the British assassin. Not <laughs> Oprah's sidekick over here. He looks like he's ready to chew Brad Campbell's head off. I'm pretty sure he has experience. With a surprise challenger, Mr. H, comes a brand new game called Ultimate Rock, Paper, Scissors. Each player must maintain eye contact upon his request the whole time to prevent cheating. They also have to use both hands instead of just one. In order to win a round, you must win with both hands. If you win with one hand and lose with the other, then the round will be a draw. Best of three, winner takes all. Now is the moment you have all been waiting for. The battle is about to start. Rock. Paper, scissor, shoot. Nice. One zero, one zero. Uh oh, Campbell looks a little flustered. I don't know if he's going to be able to come back. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Uh oh, 
Two zero. You just got you just got two. Ah! 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 Can't be beat. I won't be beat. I'm the champ. Champ is here. Ah! 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 And I think everybody expected a Mr. H win, but I don't know if anyone expected it to be this much of a blowout. I think Brad David's Campbell's might shed a tear. Let's find out. Now a word with these two fighters. Mr. Brad David's Campbell's, what would you like to say to the people watching? Uh, I object to this Travis Sham mockery, right? Clearly the wig, um, the leotard, unitard gave him an unfair advantage. I was not aware of these new ridiculous rules. I beat Brett Jenkins fair and square. Sheffrey Kane never had a chance. If you remember the speed bump that was Mario Patrizzi, right? Mario Q Patrizzi, human speed bump, right? Now I got to play the reject from the Muppets animal recasting. How the heck was I supposed to face that? But uh, congratulate. By the way, again, the real Mr. H is a strings teacher who barely speaks a language I recognize. <laughs> so I don't even accept him as the real Mr. H. I do not accept him as a champion. In fact, I do not accept many things. I will accept a championship belt that I earned fair and square. He skipped all the other rounds. Travis Sham Ockery. A real message from the heart. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, Brad Davis Campbells. I, the floor is yours. I pity the fool. I skipped a few rounds. That's because I'm the champ. Champ of the world! I proved it right here. I train hard. I train alone. I live alone. I won the title alone. My whole life was dedicated to this title. Now I got it. A man of many words. As things fall apart around me, here in America, here in this room, I want people to understand greatness is possible. I want to thank Mr. Wilson, his sidekicks, the Foot Locker reject who ref these games, the pictures of my children will leave the mantle. My many golden apples, gone. This will be on the Campbell family mantle for hours, if not minutes. <laughs> That's the final match of the tournament. We would like to thank you all for watching. On behalf of CHS TV Sports Network, I'm Jared, here with Alex, and this has been the ultimate rock, paper, scissors tournament to the death. Good and gift, everybody. <laughs> Wow, that ending was crazy. Oh, now I get why we couldn't ruin the surprise. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's all we have for this week. If you have any questions or suggestions, email Mr. Wilson at wilsons at cinnamonson.com. And tune in next time for the final episode when we make Mr. Wilson not do the thing we had written. What? I didn't write that.